2nd November, uh, your airways clear and centre control to airspace tracking our present position. <laughs> Like fighter jets, they swoop down from the skies, armed with razor-sharp tools to carry out their mission. They're big, they're strong, they're intimidating, and they're dressed to kill. They are mothers on a mission. These women are determined to find the best deals on the real estate market. A sought-after development situated in a parking lot is up for grabs. The weathered and rustic exterior adds some charm and character to the industrial look, a design style called shabby chic. It's exquisite. It's a reed fence and the property market is buzzing. Indeed, it's a crying shame that every neighbourhood has its mm, undesirable residence. They have one goal in mind, drilling, because it's baby boom time and there is nothing more persistent than a broody mother, especially if you're a carpenter bee. During spring, these soon-to-be mothers inspect all available locations for potential homes. Once a spot is selected, they start drilling by vibrating their bodies as they rasp their mandibles like miniature jigsaws against the wood. A perfect circular hole forms the entrance to a tunnel. Sometimes, single tunnels lead to several branching tunnels. Unused wood fragments are discarded, while some is mixed with saliva to build dividers between each brood cell inside the tunnel. In this female-dominant society, the males cannot sting, but a moody mum can pack quite a punch when rubbed up the wrong way, without any guilty conscience. 98% of the eggs she lays are female eggs. For safety, she deposits them deep inside the nest tunnels. The male eggs she lays near the tunnel openings, these are sacrificed to predators that might invade. Hey you, want to steal my babies? All species of carpenter bees are important pollinators. After the ladies come back from the pollen and nectar shopping, they produce a dough-like mass called bee bread from the pollen and regurgitated nectar. When the eggs hatch into larva, it feeds on a ball of bean bread stored inside every cell. Mama, me. Males will be males. If they don't hover near nest openings awaiting new ladies to court, they pretend to beat up anything that enters their territory with their cheeky attitudes. And as if the task of tunneling is not enough, these single mums must also forage, build cells, lay eggs, guard nests, wait for the development of the larvae, then the pupae, then the adults, for seven exhausting weeks. And the dads? Well, oh, just hovering outside. 